Okay, I was gonna do only two. I'm gonna do three. I wanna do three. Fuck it, we're gonna do one more. The Ultimate Grid Moth. So, this is where the Duelist Kingdom truly kicks off, is because uh, Yugi's grandfather of his soul is uh, basically now trapped, and Yugi's gonna go get it with the help of his friends, and basically they need to head to the Duelist Kingdom. And. Unfortunately, we don't get to fight this, uh, do this first round here, uh, mainly because this is one of the times Yugi actually loses. Now, I say loses, it's more like it's a draw, and Yugi ran out of time more than anything. To be fair, he was actually about to win it in the show, but like I say, it was on a time limit, I think it was like 15-20 minutes, and to be honest, if they had just stopped fucking, you know, comparing dick sizes, uh, Yemi would have won, and his grandfather still would have been fine. But, you know, it's a shonen anime, and... You know, dick size, got a dick size, I suppose, so there you go. So yeah, I, I've been thinking about it. I'm definitely going to do this in, like, uh, chapter episodes, so obviously, like, we'll, this will be episode 3 of the Let's Play, and we will have um, left the over two in, and I suppose that technically is going to be at least four, because I'll have left in the um, the two fuck-ups I have from the first round. Here's the thing, the match against Joey is the first, only time I've lost so far. I beat Kyber pretty easily, to be fair. Uh, hopefully, guys, I'm leaving this text on long enough for you to read. Uh, if I don't, I apologize. You can pause it if you're having a bit of trouble keeping up with it, but I usually do this, and I, like I said, I'm not going to fucking read text. I don't like doing it too often, to be fair, and there is a lot of text here, mainly because, again, it's a very abridged version of the show itself, or, and it was a very, very talky show. Let's just put it that way. And we're here, uh, introduced here to the Millennium items, which are awesome. They all have different powers, they all have different abilities. Uh, obviously, both Yugi and uh, Pegasus here have one each. Uh, also, something I really love about Pegasus, he shares the same fucking voice as James from Pokemon. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Naughty. I can't do a good James voice either. There you go, that's why I don't do voices, guys. Yeah, actually, a lot of the uh, same cast from Pokemon happen at uh, work here. Like uh, Kyber's, at least in the English dub, uh, Kyber's voice is actually Brock from Pokemon as well. Uh, just a lot meaner than that. Uh, Brock, obviously. Uh, obviously, as I said, Pegasus is James, and I think there's at least two others. I'm not sure. Like, it's not even just the same voice actor. It's the same voice, essentially. And unfortunately, this is a pretty long cutscene, as you can see here. And as I said in the last part, I wish this is that fucking voice acting, or at least, even if not in English, Japanese, just so it wasn't so static and uh, still. Obviously, what we've been images, it makes sense, but it's still a bit shit. We're still going here, and we still got quite a bit of story to get through, so. I don't know, actually, if this takes more than 15 minutes just for this fucking cutscene, we will actually, um... We may do two parts instead of one. We'll have to see how long this actual fucking section of the chapter goes. So yeah, basically you gotta earn 10 star chips in order to gain access to Pegasus' castle. And we have our first fucking... Uh... Antagonist, I suppose you could say, that's... Not like one of the main bad guys. Obviously, what with um, Pegasus and uh, Kyber both being main bad guys. This guy is like the first, first non main uh, main antagonist is Weevil Underwood, who I like to affectionately refer to as Beavis, because he has a really annoying laugh. He has a very annoying voice, and he's just a fucking freak to put it simply and finally after about five fucking minutes it's time to duel uh, so Weevil basically uses a bug deck and it can be a bit tricky but it's not the worst thing in the world to go up against unfortunately we lost the um, rock paper scissors so we're gonna have to see what we do here second again always the best option in my opinion it's only one round which is good I think there are certain parts where you have multiple rounds though so All right, terraforming. 
and got Forest going as well. Now he'll usually play quite defensively until he gets certain cards out, which I'm well aware of. I need to check what Terraforming does. Uh, add, oh, it's just one field, and increases the attack and defense of all insect, beast, plant, and beast warrior type monsters. Okay. Uh, tell me when summon skull or fun type monster you control, destroy all monsters your opponent. Is. Wait. Okay. If there are any field, destroy them. Each player stand by the turn playing takes. Hmm. I'm gonna set defense to start with. I'm gonna end my turn. A simple move, but it's the best one I can come up with for the time being. Alright, you got Swords of Revealing Light. Fair enough. I can't attack you even if I wanted to. Alright, Monster Reborn. I want to draw him out. I'm going to summon the Feral Imp. I'm going to use the uh, Mammoth Graveyard as a um, sacrifice later, so... Come on, something, summon something so I can see, okay. That's fine, I can deal with that. Oh, that is lovely. That is fantastic right there. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to use my own Swords of Revealing Light just because I have no real defense here. Um, yeah, set it down in defense mode and we'll end our turn for the time being. Alright, Hercules Beetle. Oh, we're getting all the shit stuff here, unfortunately. Uh, I think I do get an attack bonus from this, don't I? Yeah, beasts. Unfortunately, the thing is actually quite a bit stronger than my silver thing. Again, I'm just going to use it as cannon fodder. Use it as cannon fodder and as a sacrifice if I can. Alright, good news is I can attack his uh, monsters if I get a chance here. Okay, he had another forest. I don't know why he did that. It might have been a good idea to leave it, but whatever. Ooh, Wasteland. I could actually get rid of that. Alright, so dinosaur, zombie, and rock types. Gain a 500 point bonus. Just, I just want to do this so I can get rid of fucking uh, the forest. So we're going to activate that. Get rid of the forest. And you can see here, his things will go... Oh no, it just does it on my end, doesn't it? It's a slight boost at least, so it's spread nothing. The field spells... Like, it's in the show the field spells can be, affect both sides, so... Oh, please attack me. I got something waiting in the wings for you, guy. You're not gonna like it. Is there any spell? Is there any field cards on the hill? The turn players take fire. Fuck it. Here we go. That is gonna hurt, but not as much as my next move. <laughs> Absolutely. Goodbye. Oh, he's still got one bug. Probably smart of him actually to leave one in his deck just in case. I'll take that. Uh, target one summon skull or fun attack monster you control. Destroy all monsters, blah blah blah. Alright, do I have one thunder of monster? No. Which is problematic, but it's not a massive deal. Alright, summon that. Try and get rid of this. I don't know what. Yep, okay. Wabaku. 
Uh, basically a negate attack by another name. Alright, even if it have to even if I have to I can whittle away his health, it's not really a massive issue, so. I'll take that. That's fine. Uh, 1200. Oh, that's got 1400. My only worry here is if he can use these to summon something. What do you have um, already used here? Is there anything with decent attack? Not really. He hasn't had a whole lot of great cards, to be fair. And I am half tempted to keep this in my deck just in case I need it. Let's get rid of his um, other card here, though. Just so we can't summon something that requires two sacrifices. I'm fine, do that, whatever. Because I can now at least attack that card again. Oh, baby. Another fucking Earl Force, I'll take it. And you know what? Fuck it, we're summoning uh, Celtic Guard uh, the Celtic Guardian. Or I call it Celtic, I'm British, so we pronounce it Celtic. And how what his face down card is, it's uh, uh how do you pronounce that? Kamakiri uh, Man. Kamakiriman. Uh, we'll, we'll say that. Kamakiriman. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot destroy it, though. I'm not strong enough to destroy it. And that's the only problem. None of my uh, attacking cards are particularly great at the moment, so... The great thing is, in terms of, like, uh, burning land, I'm actually in front, so... What do I have here? Um... Curse of Dragon. I don't have either of those, so I can't use either. And I can't attack him yet either, which is a pain. What's his... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can get rid of it. Summon the Hercules Beetle. Attack position. Unfortunately, this will not destroy him, so I'm gonna leave the mystical elf face uh, in defense mode. I'll end my turn for now. Alright, face down card. I don't think he's got much great, to be honest. It's probably one of those fucking moth things. Uh, a petite moth or whatever the fuck it's called, I can't even remember. Uh Yeah. Let's show it off. Let's get rid of the ring wing dragon. Cause this should be able to take down anything he has more or less. That's in defense mode. No, it's okay, I, I was a little bit confused there. If this works then I can actually end it here. Actually, no, I'm still going to win. He can't do anything, so I've won. That was actually a really easy fight. There we go. And we'll end the part off, obviously, guys, by playing through the rest of the uh, story here. Uh, to be fair, I think we've probably spent nearly as much time in the fucking um, story here as we did in the uh, actual duel. Unfortunately, he didn't get to bring in the moth, which is a shame, but it is what it is. Alright, so the next episode we will do The Harpy Lady. Uh, obviously we'll be actually changing things up as we'll be playing as Joey for the first time. So, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys in the next part. But until then, sign out.